you've been through, why you got scars Since you walked through the door, I've been trying to reach you Cause I feel you What's the story to tell, what's the story behind The mountain you're trying to climb Think I've heard it before in a movie line We can ride or if you are brand new here and this is the very first time you're ever seeing me, what's up? I am Jen. I share all things health and wellness here on the channel. Anything I do to level up my own life, I share with you guys in hopes to inspire and motivate you to do the same. So if that sounds like your jam, make sure to subscribe before we jump into today's video. All right, beauties, we have another full day eating vlog coming at you with a little twist. We also are gonna do partial q and A. I I asked for questions over on Instagram as well as here in the community tab. So I'm gonna pick some questions from each of those and kind of answer them throughout the vlog. Just thought that would be like a fun little addition to a vlog a little something different just to make it a little more exciting something else that's super exciting is this is a collab with my bestie Nicole next level Nicole for all my OGs you guys know her you guys have been around for a minute but for any of my newbies that don't know her she's absolutely amazing love her to death she shares all things health and wellness documents her entire health journey if you love my channel you absolutely will love her channel she crushes it in the gym she always has new fun delicious recipes keeping it fun and spicy in the kitchen which you know we love she's a mama a wife all the thing she's an absolute beast so go check her out go check her Instagram out I will have everything linked down below she's also doing a full day of eating vlog and answering some questions as well so definitely go show her some love and if you are new coming over from Nicole's channel what's up I am Jen glad to have you here hope you enjoyed the video if you do go check out some of the other videos I have tons of workouts and recipes and vlogs and all kind of good jazz here on the channel so I hope you like it drop a comment down below let me know you're coming over from Nicole say what's up hello and introduce yourself but we're gonna go ahead and get this day started. We've already done our morning routine, as you saw. Did my skincare, got dressed, all of that good jazz, which I am absolutely loving that skincare. I've been using it for a little over a month. I used to use Beauty Counter, but then they had something go on with like their top owner, management, CEO, or whatever, so they aren't selling products anymore. So I was kind of skeptical to jump on this because I saw the hype of Oliveda all over the place, but I was a little bit skeptical, but I went ahead and tried it. I've been using it a little over a month and I am like shook at the results, like way better than Beauty Counter. I am absolutely loving it, but that's neither here nor there. We had our breakfast, we got dressed, we're ready for the gym. I do have some work that I have to finish up first before we go get our lift in. And like I said, I'm gonna sprinkle questions and answers throughout the vlog, but we'll get to that in just a bit. I'm gonna knock out some client work. We just started the four week leaderboard challenge yesterday in my app, the In With Gen Fitness app. So I've gotta get some client work done and some one-on-one -on -one client stuff, and then we will go knock out our lift at the gym. All right, beauties, we're gonna get our post-workout together. We have our handy dandy little funnel here. We are going in with a scoop and a half of the Formula One. This is the Summer Smash flavor, Sherbert Smash, and it's almost gone, and it is so refreshing, especially summertime. It's so delicious. We're going to go in with one and a half scoops, which is 30 grams of protein, and then we're going to go in with some Ignition. This is a high glycemic carb, which just means that it breaks down quicker than whole foods. When you're in the gym crushing it in a workout, you're going through your glycogen store, so this just helps to restore that back quickly so that you can move on to all your muscle gains, which is what you want to focus on, right? We're also going to go in with some creatine. This is a brand new bottle, so it's nice and full and I'm going to make a mess. Creatine is not only good for performance, endurance, strength gains, all of that. There are so many benefits to creatine, brain health, like so much stuff. It is so good. Definitely should be taking this 
everybody. I recommend this to everybody. It's the most researched supplement on the market with the absolute most proven benefits. So you're not going to get all big and jacked like a dude, but it's going to help you in so many ways. So we've got our post workout ready to rock and roll. Let's go hit the gym. Let's turn the jams off. We are on our way to the gym. We are having a smooth morning, a productive morning. We love that for us. We love just knocking things out off our to-do list. But we're on the way to the gym and we're gonna answer the first question. And I will pop the question up on the screen here. But she asked, what is a great beginner starter other than mindset to get started on your health journey? And mindset is not actually what I would say to start with first because I believe that's such a huge overhauling and you want to start small. So I'm not even gonna give you a list of what I think is the absolute best thing for you to do because let's see if my phone stays up here. It's been bouncing all around on my thing. It's not really been holding good, so we'll see how this goes. But I'm not gonna give you the thing that I think would be the most beneficial even because I have learned through helping people in my own experience that it's more beneficial to start with something that gives you some wins and some motivation and encouragement and belief in yourself than even diving into the actual best thing that will start moving you forward. Because if I was going to tell you what's the very first thing you should change, I would say your diet. However, that is often a losing strategy with most people because that is the hardest thing to dial in and the hardest thing for people to stay consistent with to overhaul your diet. So what I suggest to people is to start small. Commit to yourself to go for a walk for 15 to 20 minutes every single morning for two weeks. And what you'll find after you stay committed for those two weeks, walking every single morning, you'll feel good about yourself. You will start having belief in yourself that you can actually commit to something and stick to it. And that alone will start motivating you to want to start improving in other areas of your life. So then you'll naturally want to start drinking more water, start making better food choices, eventually end up in the gym and get a better exercise routine. It's kind of like Dom so you start with something small, you stay committed, you stay consistent with it, and when you achieve that first said goal, you have that win. And so each morning that you check off the box for those first two weeks that you did your walk, those little wins each day will start compounding on each other and you will feel more encouraged and motivated to start improving other areas of your life. So I always suggest to people to start small and build up some confidence in yourself and some motivation to then start diving into the other areas that will really start moving your health journey forward. And then after you have committed to that and stuck with it for those two weeks, then I would add in something else small for another two weeks or 30 days, like add in 100 ounces of water a day and stick to that for 30 days. Continue your walking, but then add in something else small that you can commit to and that you can get a confidence boost on because you are staying committed to it. Again, you'll just feel more motivated and more encouraged. And it's much easier to add things than to take away. Our human brains feel like if we're sacrificing and taking things away, we feel deprived. And so we will feel reluctant towards that. So it's much easier to add things than to take away. As you slowly progress, each of those will get easier and easier, and then you will start to just continually stack healthy habits. So that's a simplistic and quick answer, but that's an absolutely awesome question. And another note about that, as you build up that confidence and that commitment with those habits, that will, a side effect of that will be an improved mindset. And so you will slowly start to work on mindset as you add in each of these habits and as you start to see results and as you start to feel a little more encouraged and motivated. So again, they all start to compound on each other and become easier and easier. So start small and then build on that. Took a chance on a good thing. Yeah. Now I got you on my right wing. Now your love, now it's casual. Then you text me in the morning, you're available. Am I, am I dreaming? Can't believe I forgot this feeling. Finally found the one in my life that I wanna be with. No more seeking. I'm sure, I'm sure I'll always choose you first. Yeah, my baby, it's true. It's true. You're so damn worth There's no one like you Yeah, too rare to find Cause you are You're one of a kind No words to describe The way that you shine An angel in disguise I wanna make you mine One time That's you, in flight, 
straight to Honolulu, we just vibing. Relaxing in the sun till we case it. At the stars, I'm counting and counting. Nigga, I'm saying I'm for easier than you. Don't you doubt it, up, so I ain't going nowhere, Jack. So it's no joke. No man, I'm gonna make it over your future. Only with you, I see the bigger picture. So, what you do, you pull out the money, I'm so. I'm sure, I'm sure I always chose you first You're my baby, it's true You're so damn worth, there's no one like you Yeah, too rare to find cause you are You're one of us Turn. I've been on the road since 
as I was five Sitting by my father For a million miles Picking up old stories on the right I've been counting shadows to the beat Of the radio I feel Like a baby when I sleep guys what a freaking lift session holy hot tamale some things were a struggle some things were kick-ass I started my period today right before I came into the gym so woohoo me that was fun and not all the best feels normally by my second or third day I feel like a million bucks like a rock star so I know my second lift of this week will be absolutely even more killer but this one actually was still good felt really good strength was iffy at the beginning but then it started to pick up steam so it was definitely a long workout because I'm only lifting twice a week they are longer workouts so rather than coming here four times a week for 45 minutes each or so I'm doing about an hour and a half twice a week so trying to get in all the lifts that I want to get in per workout so this one was a little bit longer just because people in there trying to film and all of that stuff it takes a little more time uh, but overall killer workout we are gonna getting ready to go in with our post-workout shake we've got our water and our goods that we put in the funnel cup here before we left and so now we're gonna hop on to another question while I mix up my post-workout shake here and somebody asked for an update on my dog and my brother-in-law first my dog Sophie she's doing awesome she's old she's an old lady she's on meds and stuff but she's doing really really good so we're glad for that her eyes are way better everything is doing really good so she's awesome my brother-in-law is still obviously very sick I actually will insert some clips here I was going to vlog on last Friday and then last minute we got the call that we could go on this elephant experience which was like one of his bucket list items he absolutely loves elephants and he wanted to go and have the full elephant experience where he could pet them and bathe them and feed them and ride them. Now, mind you, he has not really left the house since the whole hospice nightmare other than to like go to the doctor and for chemo and stuff. So, cause he's just so weak and sick. So we were praying that he would have a good experience and have a good day and he did. I'll insert some clips here. could see it was awesome time my sister went my little guy went their daughter went and then obviously him and my sister so the five of us went we had a really good day so I didn't end up vlogging last week but I did film some clips of us going just so that we would have that and I could share with you guys so he is still doing chemo um, still praying for a miracle and just at, honestly at this point taking it day by day so I appreciate you guys asking I appreciate all of you that have reached out and asked about him or have prayed for them or anything I absolutely appreciate you guys so much so that's an update on them now we're gonna get our post workout shake in and head back to the house actually I have one errand to stop and run before we go back to the house and then when we get back we'll answer some more questions whip up lunch all that good jazz lunch is ready to rock and roll literally took five minutes to throw together and we absolutely 
absolutely love that. I have some good culture cottage cheese, one serving, which is a half cup. Then I have one serving of this Angus beef fajitas that I get from Sam's Club. It's already cooked. Just threw it for five minutes in the air fryer to heat it up. I already had the onions and peppers ready to rock and roll. And then just threw an avocado on the side. We're clocking in at 388 calories and 35 grams of protein for lunch. And I almost forgot to show you guys the hit of the show, which is this street corn seasoning. I got this from Aldi. It's a taco cart four in one seasoning. has four different seasonings. But as you can see, the street corn is almost gone because I absolutely love it. And I sprinkled some of that over the avocado and the meat mixture and now we're about to tear this baby up i forgot to show you guys my daily supplements if you guys have been around for a while you guys know i take the micro factor pack super convenient pack has all the daily essential nutrients that we need to make sure that we're filling any of the gaps that we aren't getting from our food and of course full mega which is super good for brain health inflammation all of that jazz so here's what my night cocktail consists of my greens my reds and my magnesium and i'm not doing hot tea i usually would mix my magnesium in my hot tea and just sip that at night before i go to bed but summertime it's just so hot i'm not doing the hot tea so i've started mixing these together at night so that i'll remember to take my magnesium because that's just a good tip to have it stack things together that way you remember to do them because consistency is key but if the nighttime routine doesn't work out and I'm not super consistent with it, then I'll move my greens and reds back to my morning routine. It's so cold in my house that my camera was like completely fogged out. Hold on. All right, let's see if this fogs up again. But let's get back to the questions. Um, no question, just peeping all that shoulder action. Thank you very much for that. You are amazing and so inspiring. Thank you for all the sweet, awesome, encouraging comments that you guys left in the question box on Instagram. Um, can you do another collab with Nicole? I miss you guys doing videos together. Thank you for that question because that's why I reached out to her and was like, girl, the people want to see us collab together. So let's go ahead and jump on this video together. So make sure that you go check out her video that she will be filming full day of eating, answering all the questions, all the things. So make sure to check her out. Uh, what are your current health and fitness goals? Uh, it's a really good question. All right, let's see if this is going to stop fogging up. It's raining a little bit out, so the humidity is just like crazy, and here we are. But that's a really good question. My current health goals right now are really just to focus on core strength and overall stability and flexibility, especially leading up to us training again for a marathon because that's my ultimate. Let's try this again. Please, I hope this thing stops fogging up because I really love sitting out here. It's so relaxing right now and it's fogging up again. Hold on guys. All right, if this doesn't work, then we might just have to move inside. But my current health and fitness goals right now are one, to continue building strength and continue lifting in the gym, even though I'm only doing it a couple times a week. Obviously strength is a huge focus of mine. Um, I'm happy where I'm at right now with my strength, but I of course want to continue to build on that. You guys know that I still am going to be running a marathon, so we will start that training again come fall. And in the meantime, my main focus right now is really core strength, stability, and flexibility. That's what I really, really want to focus on, and I'm really excited to watch my progress with yoga over the course of the next few months, especially trying to do some of the poses that really require so much stability and body control and flexibility. And I suck at them right now. So I love that though, because it gives me a good starting point. It gives me awesome motivation to continue progressing in it and just getting stronger and better at it. And come January, I will be way further ahead than I am now because we're doing yoga three times a week. So I'm really excited to see that that progress as I go. I guess in a nutshell, what I'm trying to say is I want to have a well-rounded approach to health and fitness. I feel the best incorporating a little bit of everything and targeting each of these areas and giving a little bit of energy to each of them is what I'm pursuing right now. So we're running a couple times a week, we're lifting a couple times a week, and we're doing yoga a few times a week. We walk every day. So that kind of fills each bucket for me to have a holistic approach to total health and wellness and feeling my absolute best. But of course, when we start training for a marathon again, then all of our energy will be going into that. So my lifts will change a little bit to complement my running and to help my run game be stronger. My stretching and mobility, of course, will also benefit that. 
So that's my ultimate goal this year is to complete a marathon. But in this meantime, while we aren't full on training for the marathon, I'm really focusing on that core strength, flexibility and mobility, and still maintaining my strength along the way, still maintaining my endurance so that when we do jump back into the marathon training, it won't be like we're starting from ground zero again because I love running, I love lifting. I don't necessarily love yoga, but I love the benefits of yoga and what it does for my mind and body and so I know that's kind of all over the place but that's kind of where my head is right now for my current personal health and fitness goals. Alright we're going in with our afternoon snack. I have been tearing up watermelon. Absolutely love it. This entire bowl of watermelon is less than 100 calories. Like you can't beat it. It's very refreshing during summertime and absolutely delicious. So this is going to be my afternoon snack while I'm wrapping up work for the day. Oh my goodness guys I am so pumped. We got some deliveries of some goodies and I am so excited excited oh yes i'm super pumped about that we got all the first form goodies and i haven't made an order to american dream nut butter in a hot minute so i had to stock up on all the faves and some of the new flavors that they just dropped i always have a link down below if you guys want to snag some Oh my goodness. I'm not going to go through all of them because I'm going to show all of them in my grocery haul. That would have posted Wednesday, so make sure if you guys didn't check that out, go check it out so you can see all the yummy flavors I got. Going in with our second fill up of the day, I'm currently drinking about 80 to 100 ounces of water a day. And normally my first water of the day is when I add my armor colostrum in and then I just drink regular water the rest of the day. How delicious does this look, guys? This is the green chili enchilada casserole. Got this from Elise Ellis' cookbook. My girl Nicole that I'm doing the collab with has a link that you can get a discount for her monthly like meal subscription. I'll link that down below too. But this is one of her recipes and it's absolutely delicious. I've made it before. This is the first time using corn tortillas instead of the flour tortillas. There's already a serving missing because my daughter's eating. I'm waiting on my husband and son to get home and then we are going to eat dinner and I will show you guys when I plate it up. All right guys, while we are waiting on hubby and the little guy to get back to eat dinner, I figured while I was sitting here to take a break for a second that we would answer some more questions. I got a lot of questions about supplements. What are the best ones to take? Would I do a video like explaining each one, where to start, all of that. And I will do a separate video kind of like going through one by one if you guys want me to. But the thing that I'll say about supplements is that they are just that. They are a supplement to a good diet and a good exercise routine. If you don't have those things dialed in first, then the supplements aren't going to benefit you as much. They're not gonna have as much bang for their buck if they are not supplementing already your good nutrition and exercise. So I always say to start there first. Is something better than nothing and taking multivitamins or fish oil or incorporating post-workout shakes, creatine, all of those things, they are absolutely awesome and they will help. But you definitely want to not worry about majoring in the minors and really dial in your exercise and nutrition first. They are going to be the most beneficial thing to you. But if you have those dialed in and you want to supplement to make sure that you are filling in all of the gaps that you aren't getting through your nutrition, make sure that your gut health is on check, all of those things, performance, all the things, then absolutely dive into supplements. I personally take every day my greens and reds, my fish oil, my microfactor pack, and my post-workout shake. Those are the main things that I take consistently. I do have magnesium. I forget to take it sometimes. I've been trying to do my greens and reds at night so that I'll remember to take my magnesium and mix that in with because it's just really good for so many benefits. Again, I can go through those kind of like itemized in a different video because we would be here all day and I don't want to make this video a million hours long. Um, also, whatever questions that I don't get to, I will film in future videos as well. Again, just to not make this video super long. But that's what I'll say about supplements for right now. All right, guys, look at this absolute magnificent plate of deliciousness. I've topped it with some Daisy Light Sour Cream. This is clocking in at 50 whopping grams of protein, 483 calories. You absolutely can't beat it and it makes for killer leftovers. We're gonna eat dinner and then go for our post-dinner walk. All right, we knocked out our walk a little bit later than we wanted to, but hubby and little guy 
had to take care of some stuff so they got here a little bit later than normal but that's okay had dinner knocked out our walk now we are going in with our s'mores we've been going in with s'mores like every single night because they literally are so delicious and we got our new fire pit i used one of these s'mores marshmallows i just cut it in half and then hubby got different hershey's i normally just get the bar and just break half of it off and then split that between my s'mores but he got these for two of them it's 130 calories and then for a serving of the graham crackers it's 130 calories so for two s'mores it's 315 calories and four grams of protein you can still track your macros and hit your goals while having things that you enjoy and love and i absolutely love these so i make room in my macros to fit them in i'm also going to go in with some of these true fruit chocolate covered strawberries they're 90 calories a serving they're absolutely delicious when we sit down and watch our show we'll have our snack and kind of just chill out for the rest of the night we are way over our step goal so we can check off all our habits for the night that's one thing i love about the inwigen fitness app i have all the daily habits listed out on my dashboard just as an extra layer of accountability and a reminder to check off and do the things that i need to every single day getting 10k steps is definitely one of those habits reading i have quite a few on there just to help keep me trucking along towards my goals i've knocked all of those out so that's going to be a wrap for this evening yeah for sure when i go with confidence when i go the way around i keep saying take my sip on it take a trip on it all right, beauty, so that will do it for another video. We had an awesome day of eating and workouts and answering questions and everything. Yesterday, we ended over 2,000 calories, 179 grams of protein. My daily target for protein is 160 grams, but if I'm over, I'm absolutely good with that because protein is so important for us for so many reasons, to help us lose fat, help us build muscle. It's literally used for all the building blocks in our body, so we definitely wanna make sure that we prioritize that macronutrient and and make sure that we get our protein every day especially if you have goals make sure that you are prioritizing your protein but we did that hit our macros feeling awesome I didn't get to all the questions so I am gonna save some of those questions and answer them in the next vlog I think that's fun it just gives us stuff to chat about throughout the vlog and I can answer questions if there are any questions that you guys have that I didn't answer drop them down below and I will include those in future videos I had some really good ones just about my health journey where I started and kind of recapping that for a lot of my new people which I definitely need to do things that I've learned or evolved on from the beginning of my health journey till now I had some really awesome questions so I definitely will be diving into those but just for the sakes of not making this video a million hours long we'll save those for some future videos make sure that you guys check out Nicole go show my girl some love thank you so much Nicole for collabing with me absolutely love you to pieces can't wait to watch your video but I hope you guys enjoyed this if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up that definitely helps me out for all my newbies make sure to subscribe become part of the YouTube crew here so you don't miss out on any future videos that I post. I appreciate you guys so very much. I hope you guys are absolutely crushing it out there, crushing towards your goals and having a killer week going into the weekend strong. Also make sure to hit me up over on Instagram just for all the real time behind the scenes fun, weekend fun, all that good jazz at and with Jen. I love y'all to pieces. I hope y'all have a killer weekend and I will catch y'all in the next video.